Hey everybody, this is Janissa and Asada of the Paris Book Club. We just wanted to give you a recap of this month's um, read, which is Foreign Gods Incorporated by OK Ndivi. So we had a really well spent two hours this evening. Um, it was amazing. Yeah. We had great company, beautiful women, everyone from a teacher to a yoga instructor. So the opinions were diverse. Um, everyone respected each other's opinion. We had a lot of insight from the ladies that attended. So we wanted to give you a recap of the day. Yeah, so, um, so the book is written by a Nigerian author and it was, it's a story about a man who migrates from Nigeria to the U.S. and faces certain challenges living here in the U.S. and he believes that because of those challenges, um, or those challenges pretty much force his hand to steal a god from his from from his village back in Nigeria, a very valuable god to his to his people. So the story follows that um, that plot. Um, it was it addressed a lot of themes. Uh, most frequently, what came up was the idea or the issue of greed and the issue of religion. So the background story was there was a missionary that came to his village and sought to convert the people of his village while at the same time seeking to destroy or diminish the value of Ngene, the god who the main character is plotting to steal in the book. And um, there is constant like themes and characters that uh, show societies and society's disregard for or Western society's disregard for um, African traditions, cultures, and spiritual beliefs. And through colonization, how we as Africans on the continent and in, and in the diaspora um, also devalue our own artifacts because we're taught that another man's God, another man's culture, another man's speech is superior to ours. Um, so I felt like the author did a really good job embodying all those themes in the character of E.K. Um, he also gave us a, a sneak peek in the look of, I mean, in the experience of a person just trying to survive in America as the other, the other's other, because not only mm -hmm. is he a person of color, but he's also a person of color who's not from America. And it could be argued that Africans in America hold are held in a higher esteem, but there are those who can be who can argue against that and say that you know the rest of the world sees us as and I'm saying us I'm an African <laughs> from America um, <laughs> um, sees us as you know the common stereotypes lazy um, ghetto unintelligent all these things but it was it was good to get a perspective of this brother from Nigeria and how he felt really persecuted right. as a Nigerian, right. not able to get a job, not able to be respected in relationships, not being um, successful. Um, so what else did you, do you want to add to that? Um, so yeah, so those are, those are the primary themes, um, greed, religion, colonialism, or the influence of colonialism and capitalism. Um, on the traditional spiritual or the yeah the traditional spiritual um beliefs in african society and um there are a few other things that we covered including the main character's relationship with women and um other dynamics of power mm -hmm. um what else would be <laughs> well we talked about um power like power of tangible and intangible gods like is there a natural um existing power that these gods hold or do we imbue that power upon in them. upon them um from our fate in right. them 
So that was a really yeah. great discussion. Yeah, that was, I think that was like one of my favorite parts of the discussion yeah. because, um, because yeah, it's like whether, whether you, whether you worship, regardless of what God you worship, whether it's, and, and, you know, we can argue that some, some people will, will perceive God as one singular being, regardless of how we define God, you know, but because different cultures have different definitions of God or different embodiments of God, um, that kind of led us to, 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 to question whether, whether our definitions of God is something something natural, something 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 human, something that we human beings make, make up, something that's man made, or if it's something that's just um what is it what, what I'm looking for? Not something that's natural, for lack of a for lack of another another word. Um so you know if, if God's power exists outside of our faith or if it's inherently connected to our faith. But um yeah, I think those are the main the main themes. So we have this is just a summary of the things we discuss. As you'll see in the rest of the video, um, through the discussion, we covered you know other other things, other themes, other questions, and it was kind of cool because the conversation took directions that we didn't even um, anticipate. You know, so it was a really rich because of that. It was a very rich discussion very insightful and it's always great when you have people who may bring varying perspectives but that can be respective of of differing perspectives so so you will see that you know out of those gathered we didn't always agree you know on everything that everybody said but even in disagreeing or hearing someone else's opinion that may have differed from our own that was food for thought that allowed us to to see things from a different vantage point and that's one of the things that we want to foster with papyrus we want to foster a space in which we can have these very meaningful substantive conversations of, that literature provokes but do it in a way that is comfortable and that makes those participating feel that they can share their opinions even if they aren't popular or even if they don't coincide with what the majority um, believes. So all that to say, <laughs> y'all need to be at the next one. <laughs> exactly. We'll be announcing uh, the next book on November 1st and we'll be announcing the next meetup on November 1st as, as well. So join us on Instagram. We're at Papyrus Book Club. Um, we're also on Periscope at Papyrus Book Club, but you can see the latest um, video for the next 21 hours uh, <laughs> at Sarak on Periscope. Um, so, yeah, make sure you guys tune in. Stay, you know, tuned into our pages. This is Ancestral Memory on Instagram. That's right. <laughs> and I am Sarak the MC on Instagram. So we hope that you ladies can join us. We hope to hear your voices. We hope to see your beautiful faces.